Okay, so it's been a while since I've done an update video. Um, my actual, my stop smoking Roblox video actually went up two weeks tomorrow, which was when I had my um, appointment with the stop smoking service. Um, I'm going to be upfront and honest with you, I failed miserably. Um, as you saw in my last video, I couldn't get my prescription that day and I actually ended up not getting that prescription I needed um, until the Saturday after the appointment. So I went Thursday not smoke. I went Thursday smoking, Friday smoking, Saturday smoking, Saturday night I was able to put a nicotine patch on like I was told to. Um, basically she said put a nicotine patch on before you go to bed so you wake up with nicotine already in your system. Which would stop me craving my morning cigarette because that's a big issue for me. Um, I did that, I went to bed and within five or ten minutes I started having the same side effects that I've had before from nicotine patches. Um, we were hoping it was just a one-off but apparently it's not. Um, aside from the normal irritated skin that you get with nicotine patches, I have had it before and this time where I got really dizzy, lightheaded, nauseous, like the whole room was spinning. I took the nicotine patch off and it took me a really long time to feel normal again that night. I got barely any sleep, like I could not get to sleep feeling the way I was feeling. Um, so that was a bust and so was the inhalator. I still have it, I still keep trying with it, but it's just, it's... It's a really difficult thing to get used to. It, the taste for me is just, I can't. It's, it's just not good, I can't. I, I can't really put it into words either for some reason. But, um, so yeah, that's that. Um, and tomorrow, like I said, it's, t it's two weeks since my first quit smoking appointment. I didn't go to my second one because I actually got ill last week and I'm only just now starting to feel normal again so I can restart this journey again but I have been smoking and as much as I want to try and give it up like I tried today to go as long as I possibly could without a cigarette I went an hour from the time I got up to having a cigarette I went one hour now <laughs> I was gonna say for me that's good because I can't go without my morning cigarette but it wasn't really good. I, I still was not in a good mood when I woke up this morning because I wanted that cigarette, I needed that cigarette, and I need to quit. And I hate that I still smoke. I hate that I'm still relying on these little cigarettes. They're just driving me insane. So we're gonna get, uh, we, I am gonna go to the stop smoking service appointment in the morning and hopefully get something sorted and hopefully find a different way to do this. I'm thinking, I've been reading up on it, the side effects I've had with the nicotine patches could mean that there's too much nicotine in my system. So it could mean like I need a step down from that. So I don't need step one, maybe I need step two. But we'll see. So yeah. I will update you tomorrow after my appointment. Okay, so hopefully we've got the problem sorted now. As you saw, I now have the nicotine step two patches. <clears throat> and I have the two milligram icy white gum, which should just taste like normal chewing gum, I've been told. It shouldn't be like the one I had before, which was for smokers of over 20 a day, which I am. But we're hoping that, you know, these two together work well. Plus I can use my 10 Motives e-cigarette. Um, it's just like a disposable e-cigarette that you can use. Um, she said they're really helpful um, and I use them anyway. One good thing from my meeting today, um, when I first went in two weeks ago my carbon monoxide reading was 22 and today my carbon monoxide reading was 13. So it's already going down, I'm happy with that and now hopefully I'm on the right path to quitting and having a smoke-free life. Okay, so it's late. I've just gone to bed. I've just put my nicotine patch on, um, the step two. 
and hopefully I won't have any side effects. Good night. Okay, so it's now Thursday. I went one night with nicotine patch on and to be honest, it didn't go great. I barely got any sleep. My whole arm hurt, my wrist hurt. Um, I didn't get any other side effects though. But just because my whole arm was hurting, I barely got any sleep. But I kept the nicotine patch on. Um, it somehow fell off about five or 10 minutes before I got up because I set two alarms. It was on when the first alarm went off and it was off by the time the second alarm went off. So I've got another one on now and I've had some nicotine gum, which is fine, but it dries your throat out. Um, and yeah, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Today should be a good test for me because I have a blood test at 12.30 and I'm terrified of needles. Done. Okay, so day one's gone really well. I feel... <laughs> My sister walks in. Um, day one's gone really well. Um, I'm adjusting to the nicotine patch. It hasn't hurt all day. I feel so much better than I did last night and I'm not gonna wear it at night anymore because I spoke to my sister and most people are warned not to wear them at night because they can give you really vivid dreams. Plus I had, was in so much pain with my arm last night, it was ridiculous. So I'm not going to wear it at night anymore, I'm going to take it off before I go to bed and I will put one on first thing in the morning because this with the gum with my 10 Motives e-cigarette has really helped all day. I'm not craving a cigarette. Um, I've had the odd thought here and there like I feel like I should be having a cigarette right now or now would be a good time to pop out for a cigarette. But um, I haven't done it and I'm really proud of myself. Um, I'm at the stage now where I feel like I can actually do this. Um, today's been really good. I've been with my sister all day and it's been a great distraction. So it could just be the distraction that's helped. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much. But I've gotten through day one. So that's the first step. Um, so I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.